Hi, hey, hey, it's me again. So, okay, let me let me show you how to use MakeHuman and how to use MakeHuman and uh, uh, Blender in the same time in less than ten minutes. So here you can see one of my models. Uh, so yes, it, I I made it quickly. So modeling uh, goes on the different. Uh, uh, you know features select what you want put the, the materials you know, for the eyes so I, I, I won't show you everything of uh, make your mind today just showing you that I use all the uh, the, the characteristic of the uh, software so at the, at the end I saved into Colada D D A E and then I send it on my uh, desktop so after I went to uh, I went to uh, Blender and so I import here. You go there, uh, go to File, Import, Colada, and then I make it. I make I make him come inside the inside my uh, my file. So here it is. So is inside the file, but uh, the problem is that. Um, he lost in the in the process he lost all the textures so don't worry don't worry as I told you you have to save to save the the file under uh, the Colada format and then you just have to select each but each part huh? so we will start by the the body so middle age Caucasian male I will re rename this for the sake of my uh, project I will rename it this uh, General Leclerc like this uh, attack God what I have to do is just uh, oh, put an image texture normal this is uh, because it didn't find uh, the texture yet so we will uh, select the texture as uh, the the file the Colada file come into uh, blender normally don't worry it comes with the texture you put previously on um, make human uh, here so you went here and then you'd select the different um, um, the different texture uh, so here here like this or like that or, right. so you send that etc so I come back so it is somewhere here you just have to follow the to find the name here middle age some things beginning by middle age so it here it is middle age light skin male good very good we now have to use the subsurface scattering to make a really um, realistic uh, skin so just there mix cheddar mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. put the color into the color uh, node just here and now play with the fact It's really bright. Uh, what we have to do now is to use to go to color mix RGB here, and then set to uh, select a color which it's no uh, not too far of the of this color as you can see here. So uh, I will use the pipette here. Tac, and uh, alors darker again yeah should be good like that yes yes it's okay it's cool now the fun part <laughs> the eyeball so use uh, eyeball oh, white man like 
like this add it's always the same process here and you we have to search for look for a bro a bro a bro so it's here normally um 12 tac and uh, and here it is no why because we did not put the transparent shader because in fact uh, the eyebrow texture is a texture will come with um, which come with uh, will come with the transparent transparent with a part of alpha so 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 now we will use the transparent shader put the mix shader to put the and yeah that's it like that and put the alpha of image texture in the fac and then if you have this problem no no problem you you have to inverse the the node <laughs> just like this so here it is really good now okay the chart so what i will use the same uh texture as the one for the air of the guy i put just before um so normally it should be yes and then plus and then should click and then change the image te texture for uh, air uh, I don't know how to zoom uh, normally it's that yeah really cool really nice <laughs> and now the eye yeah it's really easy just like this now blue eye normally gray eye oh, yes it's gray for him yeah cool look at these guys look at these guys um it looks a lot uh caucasian no <laughs> yes so here is my general old black general i won't say everything about the project but just listen to that and here the young white general Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why did I do that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why did I do that? Uh, pretty okay, pretty okay with the yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, maybe increase the um, samples two hundred. Uh, uh, no direct light and gain. Yeah. Look at this guy, beautiful, really beautiful, huh? So that's it. That's it. Um, the problem. Uh, no, there is no problem. You, as you can see, uh, make human work really well with uh, with Blender. It's really easy, really easy. Once you know how to play with the settings, once you have, if you have a good experience about on Blender, it's really easy to put to take a model from make human and bring it to Blender. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Goodbye.